Good morning. My name is Dr. Brian Mills from Mountain View, California. And today I want to be talking to you about a very useful technique of duplicating models. So when you're doing your level three and your level four cases, you're going to find you're going to need multiple models. And it's very nice if they're all identical and all your transfer jigs and transfer matrices will transfer accurately from model to model. For instance, you're going to need a model for your base. You're going to need a model for your preliminary positive and negative coronoplasty. You need a model for your MAGO. And during that preliminary diagnostic phase, you might decide you need, you need to evaluate for some orthodontic treatment, in which case it'd be nice to have a model to do an orthodontic setup. So right there, you're looking at four different models. Now you might be thinking, gee, I'll just use polyvinyl. That's great. I can pour that a hundred times. Well, let me just show you why that isn't true. So here we have a polyvinyl impression and it's been poured one or two times, but already we're starting to see some tears and pulls here, up in here, over in here, and along the inside edges here. So this model, the models coming from this impression will no longer be identical. And moving forward, it'll make it difficult for you to have your transfer jigs and matrices fit accurately and transfer properly from model to model. The thing you want to do is verify the accuracy of your model. Now this is a model I received from a patient. And how do you verify the accuracy? Well, this is your polyvinyl CR byte you've taken. And you have all the cuss tips and all the information you need right here. We'll put this together. So here we see there's close adaptation of the cuss tips. But as we go and look at the other side, we're starting to see a space show up. And if you look very closely, that tooth was broken off and re-glued. So this whole side's distorted. And it's nice to know that ahead of time. So you don't start significant treatment and significant work with a distorted model. Your case won't turn out very well. So here's an example of a model. And you can see as we put the polyvinyl see our bite on, that it's accurate. It's a nice adaptation of all the buckle cusps and the incisal edges. So this one will be fine to duplicate because it's an accurate model. So now that we've verified the accuracy of the model, there's a few things that you want to do to prepare your model before you duplicate it. Here you're going to notice this patient has some pretty significant tori and you'll find that if you block those out or any other severe undercuts that aren't going to be critical in your diagnosis, it will make the duplication process much easier and the retrieval process out of your silicone mold much easier also. So let's start with our model. And what are we going to need to duplicate this model? Well, first, we're going to start with a material called Capsule. It's a polyvinyl siloxin duplicating material by Great Lakes Orthodontics. Um, really nice. It has elastic deformation of 300%. So when you're uh, trying to release your model, and you'll see this later, um, you can distort the material quite a bit, but you won't lose its accuracy. Is that, that little Dixie cup is exactly 4 ounces, and that's the exact amount of material we'll be needing to use these 16 ounce deli containers, which you can purchase at most local stores like Smart and Final. You don't need anything complicated, any flask systems or anything like that. These containers work just fine. Okay, so here's our model. First, we're going to go ahead and we're going to center it up in the container. Here's we've pre measured our liquid A and B. Go ahead and just add it in. It 
Don't rush, you have plenty of working time. And while you're mixing this, it's really important to get a thorough mix. You don't want any streaking because it won't set properly. So take your time, mix it up, just like a nice batch of cake batter here. And, and just like your, vi your dental stone, you can vibrate this a little bit, get some of the bubbles out. And when you're done with that, you're going to come over here. And you don't want to pour it directly on the model. You want to pour it behind the model. And you just gently pour in your mixture. Slowly, gently, and watch the model slowly submerge evenly. Don't be in a rush. Doing it this way will prevent you from having bubbles because all the bubbles will float to the top and won't be incorporated around your model. And then just take your time and pour it gently till you see the model completely submerge. And once it's fully submerged, you can go ahead and finish adding your materials. And that's that. Let's let it set for our 10 to 12 working minutes. Okay, our material is completely set. And what you'll notice is I've taken a separating disc and just sliced the container. Here's our original model. And all you're going to do is just gently peel this open like this. And to the other side. OK, so here's our original model. You're going to notice a little flash in here. That's not a big deal. It just peels right off. And Let's go ahead and get rid of all this stuff here. And you want to be kind of neat about this, I suppose. Now, this is where that distortion of 300% is really helpful. See, I'm peeling this. So you can get your fingers in there and get the model out OK. So we've replicated our original model. So here's our silicone mold. And it's really important that before you pour this up, that you use a material like Super Wet, a wetting agent by Orbix, and spray the inside of your silicone mold. And that'll really help you get a nice bubble-free, distortion-free model. So we've poured our model into our silicone mold. And you'll notice I floated an extra bit of stone on the top. What that does is it makes it just much easier to grab it and release it. So here we have our model. And you notice there aren't any bubbles. And now let's just check for accuracy. And if you look, you can see we have a nice adaptation around every tooth. So I think you have a nice model here moving forward that's very accurate and will help you with your work.